fact, just about everywhere is getting soaked right now. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin spent the night on the west side where several roads completely washed out, Michael. Yeah, Danita, we're over here on the uh, Lake Road. Really in two spots you had some problems. One over near Viking Court, and the other one is over here near West Boulevard. You can see over here, Danita, the, the, the water that's over here. I can tell you it was a lot higher at one point. Police had this area closed off as the water was just getting very, very high. It's actually gone down a lot now. Uh, over on the shoreway, though, you had this police officer. He had his shovel out, and he was just working very, very hard. I asked him what he was doing, said he was trying to to clear the drain. At one point, said he was able to clear it, and then the water just came rushing back through. Now, cars were going on the shoreway at their own risk. Again, the shoreway is closed. We have not gotten any indication from the police that it's back open at this point in time. We saw two cars getting stuck, and one car was just completely stuck. I, I talked to the driver, and he said, look, he thought he could make it through, gave it a shot to try to make it through. Then he said he reversed his car very, very quickly, and what happened? He said his car ended up shutting off. Again, we're back over here on uh, this is West Boulevard over along Lake Road. Again, the shoreway is still shut down. Police have not opened it back up, so you'll need to find another route. All right, we're live in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. All right, Mike.